Keeper, you came. Keeper, you have come far to meet me here. Keeper? My name is Cassandra. Names change, but this task is eternal. You are the Keeper, she who keeps the Great Seal closed and the staff of Hermistris Megistus safe. Your voice... I heard it in Atlantis. You remember. My name is Alethea. With the staff in your hands, we are now entwined. Entwined? How? I can now present myself to you in a form that you recognize. You must deliver me to the heir of memories. Even now, she watches us. When I speak to you, I speak through you to her. None of this makes any sense, Alithia. It will. In Atlantis, the Great Seal hid itself from Pythagoras. It wants to be opened, but not by him. Your task is to prepare the air of memories to open it. Pledge yourself. Fine. I pledge to keep the staff until the air of memories, whoever that is, is ready to take it. What did your diagnostic show you? Elena's getting the results now. It will take us time to analyze. For now... Kyoshi, you cut out. You there? Another bug. I was saying, for now, try to relax. Air of memories. The Great Seal awaits you. Victoria, did you hear that? Nothing on our end. What did you hear? Before there was radio static, like we were being jammed. But just now I heard a voice. The same one Cassandra heard in Atlantis. Might be the bleeding effect. Like Kyoshi said, try to relax while Alana works on the results of the diagnostic. Go to the seal, air. The Keeper delivered me to you. Her pledge has been satisfied, and now I am entwined with you. Heir of memories, this is the Great Seal to Atlantis. It has waited long to meet you. Victoria, Alethea's voice is coming through the staff. Victoria? The interloper can't hear you now. You're scrambling my comms? Focus, Layla. You're not going crazy. I think that memory... If it wasn't an animus malfunction, Cassandra was the keeper holding the staff for... me? And somehow the staff has been equipped for audio transmission and is connected to this seal. These symbols... It almost looks like a locking mechanism. Name these symbols in order, and at long last, the seal will open to the air of memories. Okay, talking stick. But which symbols, and in what order? There must be some way to know. The keeper kept this riddle and more in her mind. Altair 2. I'm going back in the Animus. If the signal gets through and you can monitor my vitals, great. If not, well, you've earned one free, I told you so. Keeper, our task is to guide the heir of memories to the symbols. A man called Theras knows of their whereabouts. Theras? The guy who helped get Phidias out of Athens? Is that why you've brought me back to this place? Here, the role of the Keeper bound itself to you, though you didn't know it yet. Now, to uncover the truth, we must go to Theras. I'm going to find Theras. I guess you're coming with me? Our tasks are the same. Layla, come in. Alana, is that you? Two things. Something's been interrupting our comms, which explains why we lost our vitals. Kiyoshi is looking into it. I know this sounds crazy, but I think it's the staff. 
Nothing sounds crazy to me anymore. Still, I'd like to verify. In other news, your animus is definitely bugging out. Victoria is yelling at her monitors in French, and frankly, I'm not sure what you're doing is safe. You call that yelling? <sighs> Layla, the Altair 2 is moving into position. We're gonna ask that you come up for air while we take a look at it. I can't do that, Vic. Cassandra's looking for Theodas who might know how to unlock the Great Seal to Atlantis. The what? Layla, I... Theodas was a friend to Pythias. I'll let you know more as soon as I get answers. Layla out. I don't know any more than Phidias did. Please, stop. I want to stop, but I can't. Not until you tell us where you found these symbols in Phidias' workshop. Go check it out! Eagle Bearer! I can't tell you how relieved I am to see you! Are you alright? It's nothing compared to what they did to Porphidias. Did you hear? What do you know about Phidias? Only rumors now. A man in gold came into his workshop. Tortured him, broke his hands. His body was too destroyed for a proper burial. All because of these symbols. Symbols? I was exploring the tombs of Agamemnon, Etiocles, and Orion. I'm a traveler like you. I found the symbols and etched them onto parchment to give to Phidias as a gift. You need to find somewhere safe, Thiras. You can sail with us on the Adrestia. I would be forever in your debt. Take this map. It's rough, but it's the best I could do. Here, Eagle Bearer, and thank you. You've discovered Agamemnon's tomb, a place where the heir of memories will find the symbol she seeks. So, what now? Now is relative. With this information, will the heir open her eyes and unlock the symbol? She will now. So, do I just wait here or something? Our task is already complete. What comes next, she must do on her own. This was easy enough. Altair 2, I have our next location. Well done. Where to? Agamemnon's tomb in Argolis. Layla to the Altair 2. It wasn't easy, but I'm in. I still don't understand. An AI, or some other kind of consciousness, is in the staff, which is used to open the Great Seal to Atlantis? Partly right. The symbols in these tombs are somehow tied to the symbols on the seal. How? I'll let you know, once I find one. Guess I'm taking your word for it. Be careful in there. What a find! What is it? And spoil the surprise? All I'll say is, prepare to be amazed when I get back. Those plates on the floor. I should be careful. Symbol! 
Oh! The first of three. You've done well, Air. It almost looks like a constellation. Layla, all of our readings are being jammed. Are you okay? I'm fine, I'm fine. But there's still two more to uncover. I'm going back into the Animus. There have been too many bugs, Layla. We need to stop and figure out what's happening. We'll stop once I've opened the seal. Layla out. Eteocles' tomb. Well done, Keeper. <laughs> Keeper, the heir of memories must search these old halls for the symbol she seeks. Will the heir rise to the task? I suppose she would. No? Every step brings you down a very long road to the heir. What you cannot show her, Vimos will. Vimos? How? The air will know when the time comes. Altair 2, I've... or Cassandra has found the next location. Great work. Where to? The tomb of Ateocles. I think I found a way in. Altair 2, found my way in. I think I'm getting good at this. There might be a second career in this, if assassin isn't your thing. I still think this is a bad idea, Layla. We don't know the source of the radio interference, and there are temporal discrepancies in the Animus memories. Noted, Doctor. Layla out. Here lies the King of Thebes. I still can't believe I'm seeing it with my own eyes. So well preserved. It looks like the organic matter, the paint, the wood, none of it has aged a day. The chemical composition of the air might act as a natural form of preservation. There are tombs all over the world where corpses still have hair and nails intact, even millennia after burial. Let's talk about corpses after I'm out of here. These statues are in perfect condition. The second symbol is close. You have done well to get this far, despite the interloper. The interloper? Do you mean Vic? Or someone else? The second symbol! Another part of a constellation. Maybe they fit together. Altair 2, can you read me? The interloper can hear us. The interloper? Who? Layla, we hear you, but you're breaking up. Did you say you found the second symbol? I did. And Cassandra knows where the third is. I'm sure of it. I'm going to dive back in. As your doctor, and as your friend, I insist that we stop this. We're not able to guarantee you're safe in there. The staff... The staff makes me immortal, Vic. I'll be fine. Layla, please.
In this tomb, the heir of memories will see how life grows from a dead place. Life growing from a tomb? If I hadn't seen the staff work, I wouldn't believe it. The heir's task is to bring life where there was death, and your task dooms you to endure loss. Close your eyes and picture the face of one you will never see again. What would you tell them? I would hold them and tell them to be strong and that we will be together again. Remember that answer and the pain from which it comes. You don't have to tell me, Alithia. I will always remember. I will always keep. And now, will the heir of memories rise to face the tomb? I suppose she will. Altair 2, come in. Altair 2 here. The next stop is the tomb of Orion. I'll show you how to get there when I get back. Altair 2, can you read me? We hear you. Layla, there's something you need to know. The interference in the comms is coming from an outside source. If I didn't know any better, I'd say someone was listening in. It must be related to the staff. That's just it. I recognize the interference pattern. It isn't Yasu. It almost reminds me of an erudito hacking algorithm. I'd recognize a hack if I saw one. Besides, once I find the third symbol, it won't matter. If only I knew which order they go in. <laughs> you could try randomly guessing. There's not that many combinations. There's no guarantee I get two chances at opening the seal. After this, we're going back to Atlantis and I'll figure something out. This raider was poisoned. Locked. There must be another way. murals because of the relationship between the constellation and Orion
We are approaching the final symbol. If the Keeper doesn't know the order of the symbols, her brother will. symbol another part of a constellation they must fit together altar two can you read me okay Layla, think this through outside the tomb of ateocles alethea said demos would show me what the keeper can't but dia said answers theras didn't and was killed for it the air is wise altar two come in please Layla, that you did you find the symbol three for three we need to head back to Atlantis. In the meantime, let's run the symbols I found against known constellations. Consider the research plan B. What's plan A? Cassandra knew where the symbols were, but not the order they go in. Alethea thinks Deimos may hold that secret. We have his DNA. What? Layla, are you crazy? I'm not crazy. I'm committed, and you should be too. When I get back to Atlantis, I'm getting this done whether you are my side or not. No, 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 maybe a little more. Uh, yeah, there you are. Are you Brisson? Son? The name is Demos. No, I heard you're not real. You're not real! Oh, I'm real. Here, let me show you. Your heart rate's accelerated and your body temp is almost 98 degrees. What's happening? Itira! Korgath! Metin! That's all I know! You have to believe me! Maybe you'll talk if I break your other hand! Be afraid. We all die. But first... Tell me what I want to know. <coughs> oh, oh. Itira. Korgan. Metin. Itira. Korgan. Metin. Itira. Korgan. Metin. Layla, we're remote ending your session. Itira, Gorgath, Metin. Layla? Come in. Vic, you had no right! I had to pull you out. Diving into Themos' mind almost killed you. The interloper. He is listening. He? Sigma, I'm opening fire. 
Doc, fall back. Kiyoshi's been hit. Altair 2, come in. Altair 2, Vic, anyone. Can you hear me? The Great Seal has waited long enough. I'm... I can't. I've seen inside Deimos' mind. I... I can't contact the team. The Animus isn't safe. The trials of the air are just beginning. You're right. I can do this. Yours is a role of strength and resilience. Now the air must call the name of the first symbol. This symbol was the first I found, and the first name said by Phidias was Itira. The air recalls. She heard the names of the symbols and their order. Now, call out the name of the second. It was this symbol, and the second name said by Phidias was Korgath. The air doesn't just experience memories, but holds them inside her. And now, the final symbol. I remember! Fidia somehow unlocked the order of the symbols, even if he didn't realize it. It was Itira, Korgath, Metin. Layla, can you hear us? Vic, you're alive! Sigma Force soldiers stormed the ship. Kyoshi was shot, but I stopped the bleeding. He saved us. It isn't the staff. Someone is intentionally remote hacking our signal. I encrypted a new frequency for us, just to be sure. We need to go dark until we know it's safe. Before we go, how are you? It's good to hear your voices. Listen, I've unlocked the Great Seal. Atlantis is open. Please, don't go in until we know we can keep a secure connection. I want this as much as you do, but we need to do it together. I'm hearing you, Doctor. Atlantis has waited this long. It can wait a little longer. Until then, while I'm down here, I'm safe. Call me when Kyoshi's back on his feet. He'll be glad to hear your voice. Until then, I'll tell you two is going dark. Anybody there? Victoria? Layla? Nice timing. Looks like I've been able to establish a secure connection with polymorphic code. Hacker-free. It's good to have you back. How's Kiyoshi? You know him. Resilient as ever. He wouldn't want you worrying. Sigma team. I can't believe those bastards found the Altair too. Turns out our signal was being corrupted by THE Juhani Otzoberg himself. Guess he was bored of playing Black Cross and tracking down the Juno cult. I should have known some desperate hacker from Erudito would flip on us. Their fingerprints are all over this. No way! Also heard everything? If he tells the rest of the Templar Inner Sanctum what we're up to, we'll have every armed Abstergo goon on the planet after us. If Berg hasn't found you yet, we're still a step ahead. Then as long as I got you as backup, what are we waiting for? Let's see what this great seal is all about. Where's Victoria? You'll see. All right then, here we go. This place is huge! Echo! These look like thrones of royalty. But who are the kings and queens? Hello, Leila. Heir of memories. We finally found each other. I guess rebels always find a way. It's nice to meet you in the flesh, Alethea. Or in the hologram? It was only a matter of time until our realities crossed in one way or another. It seems as though we're not alone. 
Victoria? What are you doing down here? Layla. It was way too dangerous to let you do this alone. I wanted to keep an eye on things personally. Who's this? This is Alethea, the voice from the staff I was talking about. Of the Isu, Victoria. <laughs> Can you believe it? I've had nothing but time to study the patterns of human speech, so I should sound less like a talking stick. Are you sure we can trust her? Don't worry. She's a friend. She wants to help us with the staff. It was always known to me that the heir of memories would embark alongside the Keeper, Cassandra. You weren't in the plans. Can I trust you? Of course you can. I'm her doctor, and I need to be here to keep an eye on Layla's vitals. She'll keep out of the way. No matter. This journey is yours and Cassandra's. You'll need to build up the strength to withstand the staff's corruption. As Cassandra finds power to fuel both her and the staff, you too will feel that physical connection. So you want Layla to go in there? I don't think so. Who knows what exposure to even more first civ tech will do? Not me, Victoria. I'll go into the Animus and experience it as Cassandra. Right, Alethea? Your journey starts at the same place the Keepers did. The Animus will show you her way through the simulations. If you're sure, Layla, we'll have to be extra careful. I'll be here to monitor you with... her. Are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. Wish me bon chance. The Keeper shares blood with those who came before and is connected to the issue. The blood that is shared must also be offered, and the Great Seal will open for us. If you say so. Welcome, Keeper. You've entered the Great Throne Room of Atlantis. What lies in this room are remnants of Isutech I've adapted in order for you to begin your journey. I'm sure you have questions. There is more I have to do. Always, Keeper. When the staff belonged to Pythagoras, he used it selfishly for knowledge. He was weak where you aren't. You will endure lifetimes until the heir of memories takes this burden. The only way to carry the staff's weight is to find the strength to wield it. You'll find that strength in Elysium. The underworld awaits, Keeper. The... What? I'm alive. If I'm alive, how can I come back from the underworld? These portals are simulations. They were made by me for you. In Elysium, you'll find power sources known as Keeper's Insights. This will affect both the Keeper and the Heir of Memories. Moving forward in the Underworld will be essential to finding all the sources of power. You're asking for blind trust, Alithia. You pledged yourself to me and our common cause, Keeper. Never forget that I'm on your side. I won't let the ones that came before control your fate. Find the strength within you and show the staff your worth. Approach the first portal when you're ready. No going back now.
You don't belong here. No one stands up to Persephone's guards, let alone best them in battle. Tell me your name, or you're next. Ah, I'm Hermes. As you're holding my proudest creation, that means you're a descendant of Pythagoras. I know just why you're here. You need to harness its power. Now, your name. The staff calls me Keeper, but you can call me Cassandra. What is this place? Keeper! A great name with a great journey ahead of you. This is the paradise of Elysium, presided over by the mighty Persephone herself. Elysium was a gift from her husband, Hades. This beautiful realm she crafted in her image is the only... Elysium, resting place of heroes. When I was a girl, I'd dream of seeing it with my own eyes. Then why would Persephone attack me? Most rulers don't take the sudden invasion of a lone outsider lightly. Speaking of which, the appearance of a living human is quite unexpected. I'm supposed to go through trials and eventually leave this place. There was a great seal and the... Staff talks... it's all very complicated. Allow me to explain. The staff is a gift, not a toy. It can be a key, a weapon, and a way to attain power until the very end of time. Here, you'll find a means to control it before it controls you. After that, there is a gate that leads out of Elysium. But the only way to it is through Persephone, and she'd never allow that. I need to get to that gate. Try talking to her. Who knows? Maybe she'll convince you to stay. Or you could find Nekati, Persephone's top advisor and closest friend. Or you could prove yourself. Prove myself how? Persephone sent guards because she's concerned. There are reports of lawlessness in Death Kalion's heritage south of here. <laughs> Why am I telling you all this? You said it yourself. It's very complicated. Elysia may look like paradise, but we all have our secrets. What can you tell me about my staff? I need to learn how to use it. Find my energy sources, the perceptions of Hermes, across Elysium to imbue both you and the staff with power. Only then are you ready to move onward. You can't wield the staff without them. Are you certain there's nothing else you'd like to know? Here. When you've sorted your affairs with Persephone, come see me in Minos' faith. I look forward to hearing about your progress. I will. I almost forgot. I've invented just a thing for you flightless humans in Elysium. 
The wings of Erbis. Go, enjoy them. The wings of Hermes. Could this be it? Walaka, that was fast! I want out of Elysium. If you help me escape, I promise you'll never see me again. As happy as that would make me, Persephone wants you to stay. How long until you realize you're just one of her pets? Watch yourself, human. Careful, or Persephone will have you neutered. Oh, I forgot. She did that ages ago. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think the dead could feel pain. I'm one of the few miserable fools around here who's actually alive. How can you stand it? The dead really don't want us here. I can't stand it. I'm doing everything I can to escape Elysium, but Persephone's little spies are everywhere. Hades taught her well. So you're the troublemaker I've been hearing so much about. Adon is at your service. With an army at Persephone's disposal and most of Elysium under her control, my troublemaking days are coming to an end. What if I helped you? And why would someone with their whole life ahead of them want to do that? I hear Persephone has everyone in Elysium on a leash. I want to cut them free. <laughs> of all the lies in the underworld, that's the best one I've heard yet. No one cares about the dead. Try again. I need to find Hades' realm. If overthrowing Persephone is the key to escaping Elysium, then I'm in. <laughs> Why didn't you just say so from the beginning? Did you hear that, my love? She wants to enter Hades' realm. I'm going to find it with or without your help. We might as well work together. Tell you what. Southwest from here is the fortress of the Three Sisters. One of Persephone's strongholds. If you kill her overseer, destroy her torches of Hypnos, and steal Persephone's resources, all while avoiding the attention of her Colossi, then maybe I'll trust you. If you're the troublemaker, why do I feel like I'll be causing all the trouble? What can I say? I'm a lover, not a fighter. Luckily for you, I'm both. Trust me now. You've brought me one step closer to my love. It's a good start. Who is this love you keep mentioning? The most beautiful being in existence. With a face so fair to gaze upon it is to forget all others. Perhaps you've heard of her. Aphrodite. 
I didn't take you for a poet. She brings it out in me. I bet you I could inspire a verse or two. You sound like Persephone. Always trying to make me forget Aphrodite. All right. What's next? Not here. Come find my camp in Iapetos' ruins. Before you go, Persephone has overseers and torches of Hypnos across Elysium. If we're going to weaken her influence, we must destroy them. <sighs> and we're going to need all the help we can get. It's about time I go meet the infamous Persephone. Ross, quiet! <laughs> he stood there, soaking wet and sputtering, while his boat floated away from him down the Eridan River in pieces. I'd give my sharpest bronze dagger to see that silly human trying to leave Elysium on a felucca. Have you visited my mother recently, and given her my love? Always. The meteor sends her love in return. Well, I'd better get back. Elysium won't rule itself. Do keep an eye out for me. I sense trouble brewing in paradise. I was starting to think you'd never get here. You can't waste time if you hope to break Persephone's control over the gate to the underworld. I... <laughs> Did you really think world wouldn't get out at your inclusion with Elysium's pretty boy, Adonis? Is that so? Unfortunately, no one passes through the gate to the underworld without Persephone's permission. Which she has never given. Ever. Luckily for you, as the goddess of crossroads and keys, locked doors happen to be my specialty. Are you saying you can get me through the gate? I'm saying I can help you bypass Persephone. From what I just saw, you're pretty close with Persephone. Why would you want to work against her? I'm not asking for your blind trust. Let me prove our goals align. This unlocks the door to Persephone's hidden sanctuary. She keeps all of her most intimate possessions there, stowed away from her husband. Among her treasures is a journal rumored to contain information you desperately need about the gate. Bring it to me as soon as you can. I'll go get the journal. The sooner you bring me it, the closer you are to leaving Elysium. Don't waste any time. Won't budge.
see if the Gatti's key works. Then find that journal. The journal is missing pages. Hope Agati still wants it. I'm not sure how stealing Persephone's journal will help me open the gate to the Underworld, but here it is. Stealing Persephone's journal wouldn't help us. But stealing the journal that belonged to the gate's locksmith will. Who's the locksmith? It doesn't say. Looks like a lot of pages were torn out. Now be quiet while I read. Well, that was illuminating. So? What does it say? Oh, so eager. The location of the gate is not revealed. But so long as Persephone controls Elysium, you need her permission to pass through it. Which you will never get. But if she loses control of Elysium? She loses control of the gate. You need to undermine her influence any way you can. And how do you suggest I do that? Your alliance with Adonis is a good start. His head-on tactics are a little obvious for my taste, but in time, he will wear down Persephone's forces. What about our alliance? Where do you come in? I know all of Persephone's weaknesses, and I'll direct you to them when the time is right. Until then, you'd be wise to spend some time with Persephone's lapdog, Hermes. Learn to use that staff. You'll need a divine weapon in the land of gods. I didn't get a good enough look at you back there. Now I see why my guards had trouble with you. Well, they weren't exactly easy. I'm sure they aren't what mortals like you are used to. You must be someone special. Thank you, uh, your majesty. A simple Persephone will do just fine in my realm. Formalities are for the boring. Isn't that what they say? So, Elysium belongs to you. After the rude introduction I gave you, I can't blame you for not knowing. Let me apologize. Ross can attest. Usually he's the one that does the biting. He would want you to forgive me too. Tell me your name. Let's begin again. On the right foot, this time. No hard feelings. My name's Cassandra. Then I give you my official welcome, Cassandra. Let me tell you what's customary around here. This place is mine. I know every flower, every face. I alone let them in. But there's something here I don't want. You mean me? No. There's a beast loose in Elysium, and it belongs to Hades. 
If it gets to him that his wife stole one of his immortal mounts, it'll be a disaster. But I didn't steal it. I won't go near the things. They brought me down here in the first place. No, someone wants me to look bad, and I need that horse gone. I'll see if I can find the horse for you. What does it look like? You'll know it when you see it, trust me. Not only is the beast immortal, but he is terrifying. Horses don't scare me. Has anyone seen him lately? I heard screams coming from the Asphodel Alboritum. Perhaps he's scaring civilians. Bring it to my stable boy, the jockey of Artemision. He'll know how to send it galloping back to the nightmare it came from. Don't come any closer. You're all scaring my horse. He is just a gentle creature. Have you seen your horse? The others ran away screaming. Leave it to a blind man to see what's right in front of him. Of course I haven't seen it. I'm sorry. These are hard times. I'm afraid I won't make them any easier. I have to take that horse from you. You can't! First Persephone takes my sight, and then you take Orphe? Our friendship was instant. I heard the neigh of a fierce horse. I approached him, unafraid. And he licked my palm. He's not supposed to be in Elysium. Are any of us in a realm that boasts perfection but shows only deceit? Have pity. Let him stay with me. Little do you know that this is Hades' horse. It's going back to him. I don't care. I would risk even Hades' punishment for Orphe. Mark my words. I won't forget this. Whoa, boy. Uh, don't tell Phobos, but you are one impressive beast. I need to take this horse either to Adonis or to the stable boy. How to choose? Whoa, what is that? He's not like any of my horses. He's a special horse and belongs to Hades. That's who he needs to return to. Persephone told me you could get him there. It's because Persephone knows I can ride any horse anywhere. I'll take it from here. Good news, I take it. I know Hades will be missing his beast. I found him, and took him to your stable boy, like you asked. You have no idea the trouble you've saved me. You've earned my favor. Keeper, you found my workshop after all. I know it may not look like much, but it's home. I told you. You can call me Cassandra. In front of the staff? Pa. But I'm glad you came. There's much to show you in this great land. If you're offering, I could use some help getting my bearings. Oh, give yourself time. The Golden Fields reveal themselves slowly and selectively. But I can help. Walk with me. Maybe you're right. I need to clear my head. Where to? I consider myself a keymaker. One of my keys might interest you. What do you do in your workshop? Invent. 
All of reality's secrets are hidden behind doors. My inventions act as keys to unlock those doors. You reveal the secrets behind them? Ah, you're as wise as Pythagoras. But why discuss what we can see for ourselves? Observe, way up there, Persephone's first key. If only you could have seen it when it was new. It seems like most of Elysium is in ruins. What happened? This place is beautiful, as are all of Persephone's creations. But it is a world that changes at her whims. When I see Decay, I know she needs us at her side more than ever. Off we go now. Heroes who have passed through those golden fields, basking in the glory of eternal peace. Each thinking they'd see nothing more beautiful, only then to set eyes on Persephone. Let's go. That encampment is the site where Ephaestus built a home for Aphrodite. Doesn't look like much now. It stood tall until Aphrodite met that child Adonis. His ability to wreak havoc with a wink and a smile is second to none. Come on. Built for Come the on. staff. Consider it our secret. The keymaker and the staff keeper. Friends bound by mysteries. What happened to me in there? Imagine for a moment. Inside you, inside all of us, are parchments twisting like ribbon. On those parchments is written the story of who you are, who you were, and who you will become. Does that make sense? Like everything else here, I don't understand any of it. Let's call it the fates then. Your fate is predetermined. 
But what you experienced in there was a key I built that can unlock it and allow you to control it. I've built many. Thank you. I'm not used to doing this on my own. On the Adrestia, I had Varnavas as a guide. Ah, well, I hope it's a long time before I meet him here. I'll leave you to your adventuring. You're welcome to come back to my workshop anytime. Here, Hermes. You look concerned. I'm worried about Persephone. I haven't been here long, but I've already heard people want her overthrown. You have? What do these humans expect from her? I'd heard some of the more ungrateful delinquents are planning to rise up. Imagine! These uh, ungrateful delinquents... Could they be right? Bah! You give them too much credit. Still, Persephone needs protection. Don't look at me. There's a friend of mine and your father's, Kiros of Zarax. He's a strong and honorable warrior. He's been abducted, but if we could free him... You're suggesting we make a human? Persephone's bodyguard? With Kiros at the ready. The humans will think twice before attacking one of their own. Say no more. I'll find Kiros for you. Ah, I knew I could trust you. While you're gone, I'll arrange a meeting with Persephone. Bring Kiros to the heart of Elysium. We'll be there. Kiros of Zarax. Hermes sent me. That keymaker is predictable. I'll give him that much. So, how do you get that stuff? Pythagoras was my father. Things happened. Now it's mine. Ah, that right? Uh, that makes us family. I knew the man well. I heard. All right, Kiros. Let's make this quick. You said this is going to be easier than you thought. Since we're basically family, I'm trusting your honor. I work for Adonis. But you were caged by humans. Yes, and Hermes found out about it. Right around the time Persephone was coaxed into deciding she needs a bodyguard. You staged the whole thing and you're using Hermes to infiltrate Persephone's lair? You're no simple warrior. Before I met your father, I had four sons. Each a warrior. When my third boy fell in battle, there was only guilt. I'd cried all my tears for the first two. Go on. And with the fourth, I felt longing. Sadness had become my only friend. And I had no one left to grieve. Warriors don't bring peace. They bring sorrow. So by getting behind Persephone's defenses, you think you can prevent war? You could convince her to surrender or distract her while Adonis escapes. Anything but battle. But before we go to Persephone, I have to send confirmation this plan worked. Will you take me? Fine, but be quick. We need to go to Persephone and Hermes. They're waiting. Do you really think you can save lives? I'm not sure how death works in Elysium. But suffering is eternal. <laughs> Something Let's go. can stop. That's all of them. Let's keep moving. Once Adonis hears my plan worked, maybe he'll stand down. Hurry, Kiros. We need to get back to Hermes, or Persephone might suspect something. 
I hear Persephone likes to test her new recruits. I've got a bit of a temper. I'll think of something. Yeah! Let's go! Where have you been? No one keeps Persephone waiting. Kiros delayed us. Ask him. I... I'd been locked up for ages. You know how our queen feels about filth. I didn't want her judging us, uh, judging you, for being unpresentable. Explain it to Persephone. She's waiting. I'll make sure she knows this was entirely my fault, not yours. I'm sorry I was ungrateful. Kiros will make a strong guard. Thank you again, friend. Here, Hermes. Keeper, I've been robbed! These are dark times for Elysium. Those delinquent fools have robbed even me! What did they take? I fashioned a key. A recipe, if you will, for an eternal flame. I intended to gift it to Persephone. With it, she could shine her light. Even in the underworld. An eternal flame could bring order to this chaos. You understand her burden better than you let on. By enduring her sacrifice, Persephone keeps us safe in the underworld. So write the recipe again. What I wrote took lifetimes. We can't let it stay in the hands of humans who would use it against her. Keep her! Uh, Cassandra! We have to steal it back. I'll take back this recipe, but only because I don't think anyone should have access to a flame that never dies. These are desperate times. You've seen the cloud these delinquents cast on our golden fields. I said I'd get it. Ah, I thank you. You are quickly becoming my friend and ally. I'll find the rebels and get your recipe. That's all I ask. If you are spotted or cause a commotion, we risk retaliation. Go unseen. This looks like the scribbles of a madman. But it's been ripped. Where's the rest of it? Get the recipe back. About that. Here it is. You've spared this realm great suffering, my friend. I wonder, were you spotted? It was heavily guarded. Things got ugly. They will know it was us. They'll retaliate. I just wanted to help, but I've made things worse. I'm keeping these torn notes. If rebellion is coming, this power could be used to light all of Elysium on fire. Perhaps you're right. So long as you swear to me you'll guard this secret with your life, I can rest knowing Persephone will never be touched by this flame. There is more for me to do, Hermes. I should go. When we met, it was as friends. If war is coming to Elysium, I want you as my ally. The humans are after us. You, me, Persephone, anyone not like them. I've seen it too. War has come to Elysium. We must crush the force behind the chaos. Let's fight for Persephone. You're so worried about Persephone, you can't even see. You're in just as much danger. I don't care what happens to me. You were caught when we stole back the eternal flame. The humans will retaliate for what we've done. 
What do you propose? That we kill them all? What choice do we have? Chaos came for us, and soon there will be blood on our hands. If it'll put your mind at ease, I'll kill everyone who saw me. There'll be no retaliation for the theft. Thank you. You know, when you told me people wanted Persephone overthrown, I wondered if you were talking about yourself. I'm sure you did. I cannot let you do this alone, my friend. Let's fight side by side. All right. I've never fought alongside a god before. This should be messy. For eternity, Elysium has been a place of... If we do this, maybe peace will return. Maybe. But war has a way of following me wherever I go. Now let's get out of here. It's been a long time since I had to use this blade, my friend. You're right. It felt good to fight with a friend. You're quite a warrior. But the war is just beginning. It is. Persephone needs to know what we've done. I'm going to her. If she rises to battle, will you join us? One way or another. Until then, my friend. Good. You're just in time. A woman in Stroma needs your help. What does she need? Helping her will bring us closer to breaking Persephone's grasp on Elysium. What's special about her? She's an orator who'd be willing to join Adonis's rebellion. That man has beautiful lips. But a silver tongue like hers is necessary to inspire the public. Then it sounds like we need her. I'll come back when I'm done. should seek to leak. Who are you? Who sent you? Ekati mentioned you could use some help. Quiet! If the other humans think I associate with Ekati, my career is over. Just tell me what you need me to do. Free the villagers being held captive in Persephone's broken daydream. My son, Theron, is working there as a guard against his will. It's like Persephone possessed his mind. Can you help him too? I'll see what I can do. Let the silver tongue know I couldn't save Theron. You're back. Where is my Theron? I wasn't able to save him. Theron, my dear boy. The others, tell me you have better news of them. They've made their way safely to Iapetos' ruins already. 
You'll find them there. As promised, I'll join the rebels. What message would you like me to spread once I'm there? Let the humans know that Adonis will lead them to freedom. Only he has their interests at heart, not Persephone. Your words shall be spoken. Thank you for your help. The Silver Tongue is on her way to help the Rebellion. She'll bring in plenty of recruits. Adonis will be pleased. Relieving Persephone of her power is what's important. Don't concern yourself with that man's feelings. Or your feelings for him. Adonis is a friend. Nothing more. Make sure it stays that way. What's it to you? Divine love affairs never end well for the humans involved. Stay out of them. And stay focused on the task at hand. Now, a young woman is suffering from a terrible affliction. She's agreed to help the rebellion if we provide a cure. However, Persephone long ago outlawed the water that can relieve this woman and destroy the last of it. Let me guess. Or so she thought. There are rumors that someone hid a final vial of it in a cave off of Hypnosis Path. Retrieve it and bring it to her. I'll return when I've delivered the water. Remember, it's forbidden. You can't be seen when you bring it to the villa in Adonis's gardens. entered the cave. You must have found what was left of Lithi's water. I did. Oh, I... Oh, have mercy and let me have just a sip. I lost my wife in Tartaros and her screams still haunt me in my dreams. Please, put them to rest. Well, I guess it can't hurt. But just a sip. Someone else needs this. I don't think it matters. You're the contact Ikati described. Do you have Lithia's water? I do, but what's so special about it? I saw a man lose himself after just one sip. Humans here drink Lethe's water to forget their past lives and reincarnate back into the world of the living. But Persephone won't let any of us leave Elysium so long as she's trapped here too. I lost my soulmate. I can't go back in time, but I can forget that pain. Now, give me the water. Here, drink this. For you, my poor Theron. I'll join you in mindless bliss. <coughs> I must say, I feel a touch woozy. Ugh. How am I going to get you to Adonis now? What happened to her? 
She took a sip of Lithi's water. I gave her the last vial. What? Why would you do that? She didn't want to be sentenced to eternal heartbreak after losing her love in Elysium. That I can understand, at least. She mentioned her lover's name, Theron. The silver tongue son? I suppose since he couldn't be saved. Still, watch your back with the Gati, Cassandra. She can't be trusted. I've already received word that you accomplished just what I asked. Good. And what did you ask Cassandra to do for you? Persephone. Rumor has it Lethe's water has once again entered circulation in Elysium. Don't you dare try to talk your way out of this. You are the only person who knows what Lethe's water means to me. I'm sorry. You would never understand the intricacies of a divine creation like Lethe's water. But I won't forget what part you played here. Persephone, I, I was only trying to... I'll be watching you more closely from now on, friend. This wasn't about helping Adonis at all. You knew that woman would be no use to the rebellion after drinking the water. The woman did promise her help. That wasn't a lie. As for my motives, I've told you from the start they are mine alone to know. But if humans so desperately desire to move on from their pasts, Persephone shouldn't make that choice for them. If humans want to drink from Lethe's river, it's a choice they can make for themselves. With or without Persephone's permission. I wasn't asking for your opinion on the matter. I need some time alone, away from your mindless chatter. You've had your alone time. Tell me what's next. You're keeping up. Good. There's one more place we must weaken Persephone before our time together draws to a close. Her most devoted followers are gathering in a villa near Persephone's embrace. These are the most vile humans in Elysium that serve her every whim and dark desire. Are they under her possession? You might say they're more obsessed than possessed. But if you're thinking you can save these humans, you're sorely mistaken. Persephone's hold on them is too strong. Until now, you've been helping humans, not hurting them. I'm helping people who help us, and hurting people who stand in our way. Try to stay with me, won't you? So, what do you have in mind for Persephone's followers? Poison in their wine should do the trick. Unfortunately, the wolf nearby ate the last of my aconite. You'll need to hunt it and extract the poison from its liver. This symposium shouldn't be too difficult to infiltrate. But once you're there, try to blend in with the other Persephone-obsessed humans. I'll find the poison and infiltrate the symposium. Don't worry. There'll be plenty of time to leave once the humans start drinking. Good luck. Fresh face. Is this your first time at a devoted follower symposium? Uh, yes. Don't look so nervous, friend. Why don't you go meet some people, and then we will toast to our new arrivals? Oh, if you're at a loss for words, let other members know whether you think Adonis or Hermes is Persephone's soulmate. We debate that for hours here.
Tell me, stranger, who do you think Persephone's soulmate is? The god or the human? Hermes! He clearly adores Persephone. Thank the gods! Someone here with some sense. Hermes doesn't get his due. He would follow Persephone to the end of the underworld. Praise Persephone, friend. I should go meet more people. Persephone sent Adonis the most beautiful boat after he destroyed it and never Settle an argument, friend. We just got word that Persephone is expanding her palace. Should she build into the east or west of Elysium? Only the best for Persephone, so... East. What? No! There's nothing for her to see in the east. What's she going to stare at? A catty's hovel. <laughs> that makes no sense. I know they're old rumors, but what do you think of the whispers that Hecate seeks to steal Persephone's throne for herself? They look like good friends to me. You know, I completely agree. Persephone needs someone like Hecate by her side supporting her. I'm ready for the toast. You know, everyone is saying what a great conversationalist you are. So knowledgeable about Persephone. You'll be a perfect fit here. These people really don't seem as corrupt as Ekati made them out to be. Everyone gather to toast our new members. To Persephone. To Persephone. It would take time to sink in. I'd better get out of here before I... Yes. God owes me answers. The symposium wasn't at all what I expected. Why do I get the feeling I've been played? Welcome to the Uprising. These ruins were abandoned when Persephone constructed her... ...paradise. We won't be bothered here. But there are so few of you. Most of Persephone's army consists of mind-controlled humans. Free their minds and bring them to me. We can use them as troops. Free their minds? My dear friend Hermes is a master manipulator. And that staff of yours looks like one of his creations. Try using that. There's an outpost southwest from here, nestled in the hand of Hades. Warriors were spotted in its paw.
from Persephone's grip! You surprise me. When we first met, I was positive you were sent by Persephone to... To what? Seduce me. Confuse me. Anything to make me forget my love. But when I asked you to weaken Persephone's influence, you did. I asked you to bring me warriors, and here they are. You think I'd be the one sent to make you forget your love? You're brave. Beautiful. And if I had to guess, I'd say you had the blood of the gods coursing through those veins. Careful. Flattery can get you into trouble. Don't confuse flattery with honesty. That could get you into trouble. <clears throat> Time to find more warriors. Scout spotted one nearby. Was a Spartan hero in his former life. He's not under Persephone's influence, but keeps mostly to himself. With a champion like him on our side, we can't fail. How will I know when I find him? From what I'm told, you can't miss him. of my daughter. So something did survive that day. How do you have this? Mirini. She's my mother. I'm here because I need your help. I need you to fight. I have found peace here. Why would I fight? All my life, I was told of my grandfather. The king who spat in the face of the gods and ran his spear through anyone who threatened the freedom of his people. Now I'm the one fighting for freedom, and I'm asking my grandfather for help. We'll need to use the terrain to our advantage. So you'll fight with us? Not until you fight me. You say you're Marini's daughter. I want to see how she trained you. You fight well. Last breath. She's up. 
I could have used you at Thermopylae. You could have used a lot of people at Thermopylae. I am glad this spear is in your hands. I will fight with you. You have my word as a Spartan. Thank you, Grandfather. There she is. How is Leonidas fitting in? Morale's never been higher. Scouts are reporting Persephone's influence is weakening across Elysium. You're definitely causing havoc out there. I won't rest until it's done. You know, I'm starting to think Elysium isn't such a bad place with you in it. I'm starting to see why Persephone won't let you leave. Wait a moment. Whose side are you on? Maybe when Persephone is overthrown, we can leave Elysium together. But... Aphrodite... Aphrodite is not here. But I am. Clearly, the gods have sent you to test me. My destiny is clear. Aphrodite has my heart. Now let's focus. We have a serious issue to deal with. Of course we do. Persephone's guards have cut off supply lines, overtaken hideouts, secrets and locations she couldn't possibly have known without inside help. We suspect there is a spy in our midst. Who? One is a messenger. She was sent with crucial information to one of our camps. When she didn't return, we sent a scout. The entire camp was killed, and she was nowhere to be found. The other is a blacksmith. Soldiers love to gossip while getting their blade sharpened. We think he may have overheard some of our plans. That's a good start. They both have homes in the village. Return to me once you're done. Messenger's house. So Persephone knows we've recruited Leonidas. Broken beast from one of the torches of Hypnos I destroyed. Detailed information about one of Adonis's rebel camps. Definitely the house of a blacksmith. Hmm. A list of people Adonis has spent time with. Mine and Persephone's names are on this. A note written to Aphrodite. The blacksmith told her everything. Adonis' escape plans. The rebellion. And who's the dirty spy? The messenger or the blacksmith? Both have been spying on you. Both have information that could undo your rebellion. Lousy malakas. My scouts tell me they're on the move. We only have time to dispose of one before they disappear completely. Which is more dangerous to our cause? The blacksmith had a list of people you've spent time with, and a note to Aphrodite outlining your plans for escape. And what about the messenger? She had detailed information about one of your rebel camps, a note to Persephone about Leonidas joining the fight, and a fragment of one of the mind control devices I destroyed. The messenger needs to be stopped. Last I heard, she was spotted at a small rebel camp.
The messenger is dead. The camp was ambushed. I did what I could. Any news on the blacksmith? He escaped. If he reports back to Persephone, many lives are in danger. Our next move needs to be swift and deadly. Meet me later at the Palace of the Colossi. I've acquired a little something that will turn Persephone's paradise upside down. Keeper, there you are. The Queen is in Defcalion's heritage and requires your presence. She says it's quite urgent. What do you think about my southern realm? I don't come here much anymore. It's lovely. I try to offer a comfortable home to the glorious dead. It helps them accept their fate and keeps them from wandering too far. So when a human wanders and doesn't return, I can't help but take it personally. What am I doing here? When Leonidas was alive, he brought chaos and bloodshed. Hermes spotted him mingling with delinquents recently. We can't have him falling into old habits. If he won't fight with me, then he won't fight at all. Hermes is exaggerating. When I heard Leonidas was in Elysium, I went to see him. He's found peace here. He's no threat to you. Hermes told me why you're really in Elysium. That staff of yours. Cross me, and you'll fail. But Leonidas means a lot to you. I understand this will be difficult, which is why I'm willing to make you a deal. What kind of deal? Bring me the body of Leonidas, and I will bring back a departed beloved of your choosing. You can do that? I'm queen of the dead, darling. I can do anything. So, who does Cassandra want back in her life? I want to see Phoebe again. Help me protect Elysium from chaos, and you'll see your loved one again. What are you doing out here? There is something I wanted to ask you. Will you fish with me? This is nice. There are so many things I want to talk about. Talk then. It's so peaceful here. I think I got a bite. Get a basket, quickly. Grandfather, I... You are here to kill me. In Sparta, we were trained to spot predators long before they pounced. I need Persephone's approval, but she sees you as a threat. If I don't take care of that threat... Why not bring her the head of a greater threat? Who's a greater threat than you? Actually, there is someone. A spy. I delivered him to Persephone as a bodyguard, but... He's working against her from the inside. I am only a threat to her soldiers on the battlefield. A spy threatens the heart of Elysium. Bring her his corpse, and she should be satisfied. Thank you, Grandfather. We should go fishing more often. like this. Maybe if I bring Kiros alive, she can deal with the traitor herself. Wait, wait, wait. 
Kiros of Zarax? This isn't who I asked for. He's a spy working for the Rebellion. But you're the one who first brought him to me. I didn't know his intentions. I trusted you. Guards! Persephone, listen to me. Hermes is right. Trouble's brewing in Elysium. Even though Leonidas is against you, you are much stronger than he is. But Kiros was an enemy you couldn't see. That made him far more dangerous to you and Elysium. Defying me comes at a cost. Our deal is off. But for bringing me this vile deceiver, you may stay. Figure out that mysterious little staff of yours. Ride, Phobos! I never wanted this! I only turned this world into paradise to make it bearable. And then you arrived and made me blossom. Please, just let me go. If you truly wanted to leave, you'd have already done it. Or have you forgotten? I wonder if Aphrodite would still love you if she knew what a coward you were. Not having second thoughts, are you? She's right. I am a coward. She gave me the chance to leave once. All I had to do was fight, and I couldn't. I'm sorry, I can't do this. It's too big. Adonis, I'm in this with you until the end. Don't abandon me now. You're right. It's Persephone's greatest talent, making us forget the ones we love. Keeps people from wanting to leave. Let's remind them, shall we? At the base of the Palace of the Colossi, you'll find one of Hermes' inventions, stolen from his workshop. It's said to destroy everything it touches. What are we destroying? Atop the palace is where Persephone keeps her sleeping Colossi. Bring the device there and make sure they never wake again. The smoke will let every rebel camp in Elysium know the time to strike is now. What are we waiting for? Try not to kill anyone. Success without detection and death is sure to convert more non-believers to our cause.
When we first met, I laughed when you said you wanted to escape Elysium. And now? I pity the god who stands in your way. So what will you do? I have some preparations to make before our final assault on Persephone's palace. I meant when this is over. I'm going to leave Elysium in the hands of the people. Then I'm going straight to Olibos into the arms of my love. Sounds like paradise. You've been a good friend. I never expected to find one here. Come find me before we launch our attack. The rebellion's almost ready to make it stand. I should check back with Ekati in case she's returned. And get some answers. Persephone? I was looking for Ekati. I can't imagine what you need her for, but... Never mind. Do you know what the hardest part is about my life here? I don't. It's not knowing who to trust. Ekati has been my dearest friend ever since my mother, the Meteor, sent her to me. But after that nonsense with Lethe's water, I've been keeping a closer eye on her. Ekati always tells me where she's going, but not this time. My spies tell me she's about to resurface for a secret meeting at Iphigenia's compound. Sounds like the meeting's not so secret anymore. That's where you come in. Spy on her and report back to me. I'm trusting you with this. Please, don't let me down. This area. Knowledge of the gods should be useful in the underworld. I was wondering when you would arrive, locksmith. You know, I prefer Keymaker. Your mastery of language is overwhelming as always. How you stay so humble is beyond me. You know why I'm here, Ekati. We need to talk about your newfound friend, the Keeper. Don't worry. I didn't tell Cassandra about the key to the underworld you cleverly disguised as Ross's cover. Why would I want her running straight to Persephone's palace? It's not about that. I know you've been spending a lot of time together. And undermining Persephone in the process. Cassandra has been undermining Persephone, not me. At least, that's what Persephone will see when I'm through. I'm all too familiar with your ability to whisper in Persephone's ear, but whatever tale you spin for her isn't the truth, is it? You've been trying to push Persephone out of power! Hermes, you know her quest for control is corrupting her. You must see that Persephone has changed. The only one who wants control is you. Why can't you support her? <laughs> it's true. You are jealous of her. Doing everything Persephone tells you isn't helping her, Ernest. Let alone getting you what you so desperately desire. Could either of us really help her after what she's gone through? But I am no traitor. You know I love Persephone like a sister, Ernest. If I could free her from Elysium, I would. But freeing her from corruption is the best I can do. Hey! You're not supposed to be here! Keeper! Hermes, we have to go! Here's where you die! So you were the one I couldn't trust. Ekati has told me all about your treachery, including your breaking into my sanctuary.
I couldn't have gotten in if Ekati hadn't given me the key. But you did break in? Yes! To steal a journal about the gate to the underworld. You are the only one with the key. Cassandra stole it from me. Just like she stole the last of Lethe's water from the cave. I know you were both involved in the distribution of Lethe's water. But you were the one who handed it to that woman. The point is, there's been trouble in Elysium ever since you got here. That's no coincidence. You're clearly trying to push Persephone out of power. I may be working against Persephone, but you've been helping me the entire time. There! Out of your own mouth! You're trying to overthrow me! You can't believe these lies! A silver tongue joined the delinquents operating in Defcalion's heritage after this outsider helped her. The timing is curious. Furthermore, a gathering of your most devoted followers was recently targeted. Yes, all poisoned with aconite, which you have quite the green thumb for. Curiously, the last of my batch was stolen from me right before the party. It wasn't me. Is it a coincidence then, outsider, that someone matching your description was seen fleeing the Followers' Symposium? Enough! I have reason to suspect the both of you of treason at this point. Ekati is my oldest friend in the Underworld, and for a while I thought my truest. Give me one reason why I should believe your word over hers. Your quest for control is corrupting you. I heard her say that when you sent me to spy. That's why she's trying to undermine your reign. You can't possibly take the words of an outsider over mine. Persephone. Ekati's right. I'd have to be out of my mind to take your word over hers. Nothing's been paradise since you dropped in. You are no longer welcome in my palace. <sighs> We've received word those delinquents in Defkeluan's heritage are on the move. Not now. This is urgent, my queen. Fine. I'll handle this later. I should have known you would stab me in the back. You can't betray someone you never held any loyalty for. Try to stay out of sight. I've had scouts looking everywhere for you. I didn't think to check Persephone's throne room. You should be thanking me. Persephone knows what we're doing. She's prepared. That's so? Then we need to strike and we need to do it now. Mm. For Aphrodite. And for your freedom to breach the gate out of this realm. All right, master your troops. We're going to battle. Yeah! 
Don't get in my way! It was you this whole time? You let me worry about these delinquents? All my worry, all this suffering, was because of you! I told you I'm getting to that gate whether Persephone likes it or not. Now, get out of my way! I will not! It doesn't have to be like this, Hermes. It could have been different between us. You were my friend, but you've given me no option. I have to protect the one I love. So, this is what friendship means to you? You failed me for the last time, Hermistris Megistus. Persephone's control over Elysium needs to end. Now! You! Don't move a muscle! Don't let her get away with anything. We're in this together. I'll always be at your service. Even outside of Elysium? If it comes to that? I'll be there. For now, I'll leave you two. I'm sure there's plenty to talk about. You're making a huge mistake. With war brewing outside my window, I wonder what you'd suggest I do instead. Your beautiful Elysium has turned to rubble. All because of your stubbornness, Persephone. You fool! I made this place beautiful for you! Nothing I've ever done for your love has been good enough! You're a prisoner too. You should know it's impossible to love your captor. This is the last time I'll ask. Let us go. Let me go! You've turned this whole realm against me. But you didn't do it alone. Go. Your friend here won't be as lucky. Thank you, Persephone. I'm forever grateful. Go easy on Cassandra. Your turn. We don't have to do this. Just let me pass through Elysium. Adonis would have rallied the people with or without my help. You're lying! Persephone, you don't have to control everything. You're free to let go. Maybe you can finally go home. You know nothing of what I've been through. I was stolen from your world. I had no choice but to take this one for myself. And this 
world is mine. Alone. No what time for that. Abstergo's found us. Tell your boss I'm ready. Also, Berg can come get me himself. If he's not a coward. What the hell is wrong with you? What else could I do? They were out to kill us. Even Alethea ran for the hills. There was no reason to massacre them. Everything okay down there? It sounded like a war zone. We're fine, Alana. But don't expect much action anytime soon. Seems like this specific memory in the Animus is down for the count. Let me guess. That happened when you ripped me out. Great. That's the last thing we need. I had no choice. Complaining won't repair the computer. The memory files are overriding each other, and I'll need time to sort them out. You know what? I need some time alone. May as well head back to Greece until Alethea returns anyway. <laughs> 